Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be going over the number 20 from the 6th grade Noetic of 2019. Once again, this is the number 20 on a Noetic, so it's the final problem. But, once again, it's, this problem really isn't that hard when you just look at it from the right way. So that's what I'll be going over today, to show you how this final problem is really quite easy. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Tyrone has played seven basketball games this season. His average number of points scored per game dropped by two points after a seventh game because he didn't score any points in that game. What is the total number of points that Tyrone scored this season? So in the problem, we're told several things. We're told that Tyrone played seven games total his average number of points dropped by two because in the seventh game he didn't score any points. And we want to find out how many points did Tyrone score this season. Well, in any case, the average is the sum of the each of the individual numbers divided by the number of numbers. So we take the sum of all the numbers and then we divide it by the number of numbers to get the average. So, we don't really know what his average before the games was, but let's say his average before the games was X. Then that means, at that point, after the first six games, he would have had six X points. Now, in the seventh game, we realize he didn't score any points. And then his average dropped from X to X minus 2. So we could also write that as 7 times x minus 2. Because these sums would be equal. It tells us in the seventh game he didn't score any points. So if we write these numbers, these values, as the product of the number of terms times the average value, well, in the sixth game there were six terms. And then in that case our average would be x. After the seventh games, they tell us that the average is two less, so it's x minus two, and this time there's seven games. So we can write this equation out. Now we can search for x by solving for this equation. So we rewrite this to get six x is equal to seven x minus seven times two, which is 14. Then by bringing the x to the other side and bringing through the 14 to the other side, we see that x is equal to 14, meaning that before this game, before the seventh game where he didn't score any points, Tyrone was averaging 14 points per game. So then if we plug in 14 to this original equation, we get 7 times 12 is the number of points he scored in the season. So 7 times 12 would give us 84, giving us 84 total points. And we can check if this is right. His average number of points before the seventh game would be 14 because that's what we got for x after the seventh game he would have 84 points but now it would be in compared to seven games so if we want to take the average of that we'd have to do 84 divided by 7 which would give us 12 which is actually two less than 14 so we see that 84 works out and it's our answer in this case so what do we do to solve this problem? We recognize that the average, well, that's just the sum of all the individual terms divided by the number of terms. And then we wrote some equations from there. To find out the total value, we multiplied the number of terms by the average term. And then we did the both on both sides. We did it with all the games before the seventh game and the games after the seventh game. And you can see that in our equation because we did six when there was only six games and seven when there was only seven games. And then we multiply that by the average points. Before the seventh game, it tells us that we had x because we really didn't know. 
what it was before. But then after it tells us that it dropped by 2, so we denote that as x minus 2. Then writing out all these equations and solving for all these equations, we get the value you want, and then we we'll plug it back into the equation to find out the answer we want to find. So just by creating a simple equation and doing some simple computation, we solve this number 20 on a annoying test, showing that how just by setting up an equation, a, a final problem on a noetic test could be solved quite easily. So, in the future, in order to do good on noetic and other kinds of tests, just get good at setting up equations from word problems. And because this comes up a lot, not only on noetic, but also on Math Kangaroo and other exams like that. So, this shows simple equations can beat hard problems.